So, so what was your favorite example um, of relationship and its power in the Bible? Ooh. Relationship and its power. I mean, For good. Yeah. I mean, definitely the woman at the well. The woman at the well. Uh huh. Because Jesus just like lays aside all c- cultural norms, and he like just he doesn't. It's not that Jesus didn't care, but he he cared so much. Yeah, he cared so much that like, he's not going to be like, oh, I'm not allowed to talk to her. I can't talk to her. I'm gonna have to send someone to talk to her. Um, he just did it, and he like arranged a time where he knew that she was gonna be there, and like she was coming in shame. She was arranging a time where she was gonna be there when no one else was. Like she knew exactly what she was running from and what she was hiding from, and so did Jesus. And he showed up anyways, and he just like completely called her out on it and then like on her sin yeah and then sorry I, I know we're <laughs> gonna talk about this I just this is my favorite story okay go ahead so yes that's no go ahead oh, I just okay. wanted to clarify what he called her out on yes he called her out on her sin and she had been like married a lot and then she was like living with the guy that she was like seeing now and it was just like, he just <laughs> he just he saw the truth yeah. in her life he saw what was and he loved her despite it because of what he knew she could be with his love and his freedom. So he went against all cultural odds, all all expectations of what was supposed to be happening with um, between a man and a woman because he knew his motives and he knew his intentions in that moment was to free her because of who he was. And so... Um, there was just, there's so much in that moment where he meets with her, regardless of the rules of the day, he, he spoke truth to her Mm -hmm. in love. And, and when she tried to kind of answer him back, he, he gave her truth again Mm -hmm. and, and still loved her and she could tell. And that's what made him Jesus. And in that moment, in his love, despite who she was, there was no judgment, no condemnation or condescension or anything. It changed her life, and it changed so many others also. So that's why we look to that one of many Mm -hmm. relationships and say how we treat people matters. Not just the way we treat believers, our family, or whatever, but how we treat everything because we have a relationship with everything. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're going to go deeper into this semester is the relationships with um, your parents and friends and strangers and, and inanimate things, shopping, mm-hmm. food, <laughs> social media, everything, which yeah. um, also in all of this, because we are all different, and even, you know, your relationship with your siblings could be different because of their own personalities, which brings us to the Enneagram. Mm. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, you already said all this, but I just wanted to, like, reiterate, because the best thing about Jesus and the woman at the well is that she goes, she's, remember, she's hiding in shame. She, like, she planned out her day, her week, probably her month. I don't know how much time she spends at the well, but, like, she just, like, she schedules her whole life around being at the well when no one else is there because she's that ashamed. And then she has to get water, and she's there to get water. This is a necessity of life. You can't live without water. It's, like, just a couple of days you can get without water, right? Mm-hmm. Not hours, days. Not hours. Threes. Yeah. Three days. Threes. Okay, so <laughs> threes. you can only go three days without water, so I guess every three days she's at the well. I don't really know. But long story short is that she literally schedules everything around this one time to get this water because she has to have the water, and Jesus shows up. And guess what she does? She does two things. Oh, I can't remember. I she, was not prepared. <laughs> she leaves the water. She leaves it. Like, that's the reason she's there. She Mm -hmm. leaves the water. And she doesn't just leave the water. She runs and goes back to the very people that she's hiding from and shamed from. Mm -hmm. And she goes in and she's like, guess what? Mm -hmm. This man told me everything that I've done. Everything. And, Mm -hmm. like, they're all like, yeah, we know what you've done. (laughs) Like, that's why you're hiding Mm -hmm. from us. And, like, everything that she left ashamed of, she comes back, not only runs to the people she's ashamed from, 
She has been shamed by. Yes. She <laughs> runs and she tells them, guess what? I know everything I've done. You know everything I've done. This man knows everything I've done. And you have to come. You have to come meet you him. You still have to come meet him. And, like, that's what Jesus does. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's who he is. But that's also, like, who we get to be in our relationships because Jesus gives mm -hmm. life. Like, he... He is, like, he makes you known. He makes you seen. Like, he sees you. He knows you. He loves you. Like, we have this ability because we have Jesus in us, and that's what Jesus does. Like, our relationships and who we are to the people in our lives, like, is life-giving mm -hmm. and, like, takes the shame and lets Jesus, like, again, this whole story, like, remember, this is Jesus mm -hmm. beating the cultural norms, not humans. Like, it's Jesus. Mm -hmm. But, like, we get to carry, like, his power, which is what you asked. Like, where's the power of this relationship? Like, it's just, like, that's, mm -hmm. she leaves her water. That's why she's there. Mm -hmm. And she runs to these people that she doesn't even want to be around. And, like, her whole life has changed. And then the best part is that they not only go to meet Jesus, but they then believe not only because of what she says, but they believe because they've seen it with their own eyes, which is like the best part of the whole entire story is that <laughs> last line, that yes! last verse that is like, they don't just believe because this crazy woman is screaming at them and telling mm -hmm. them that everything that she's ever done is known, but like, they are like, wait, we not only see you, but like, he sees 